Okay, so this is our frontier opening bell getting the new week started, Monday the 27th of June. Of course, this takes us effectively to the end of the month and, of course, effectively the second quarter of the year. I am boasting them off. I look at the market finished off on Friday with the exception of the Egyptian market, which we'll starts trading on Sunday. DJX was down 0.04% to start its own market week. On Friday, the Nigerian market went up roughly 20 uh, basis points. The BRVM down by a quarter, about three quarters of a percent. The NSC down by 0.92%. And the GSC made a roaring uh, finishing line, 1.61%, uh, on the back of the momentum that we saw across the global equities market on um, on Friday, that was. So let's uh, begin to look at the final trading week of the month of June. But let's get the news in to your box for you this morning. The Nairobi Stock Securities Exchange is Africa's third worst performing equities market in Frontier Africa so far this year. The index down, the main index is down about 30% since the year started on the back of sell off by investors and currency problem in foreign currency issues. That is, that's the uh, administration of President Uhuru Kenyatta is dealing with ahead of the general elections uh, in the month of August. Alliance uh, Kenya and Jubilee Alliance General Insurance have secured the approval of the regulatory authorities in Nairobi to move ahead to create a financial supermarket who's going to be the, one of the biggest insurance company in um uh, in Kenya, as well as in the entire uh, East Africa, that has now been okayed and can move on. And Kenya's Bankers Association, which is an advocacy group comprising of all the CEOs of all the banks in Kenya, have uh, re-elected NBC Managing Director Gachora as the chairman for the 2022-2023 period. And we say congratulations to him and his new executive members. And Rwanda is expected to feature in the new preferential trade system that the United Kingdom is expected to release on July the 6th. Rwanda was the host of the Commonwealth Heads of Government's meeting last week and put his a step forward to be on that preferential trade list. In the meantime, Zimbabwe also reapplied to be readmitted into a member of Commonwealth where it was kicked out many years ago under the long rule of the late President Robert Mugabe. And finally, in East Africa, this today, Tanzania is looking to hold online coffee trading auction on weekdays to speed up payments to farmers. The whole idea is to ensure that farmers get paid as quickly as possible so the weekly auction, tea auction, delay the payment of farmers. Now, to ease things out, the coffee board uh, is now uh, looking at a weekday trading auctions that will allow payments to be gotten to farmers as quickly as possible. They need to get value for their hard work. And for that, your cup of coffee. Let's get to uh, West Africa, in which includes Nigeria. By the way, the total transactions on FMDQ Securities Exchange, which is the window, official window, as it were, for all currency trading in Nigeria. Today, spot market surged roughly 34% last week to about 504.3 million US dollars. In the meantime, Nigeria will get its OPEC plus production quarter back on track in the month of August. That's according to the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Pre Silver, speaking just before the weekend. Nigeria has been suffering a major setback in its production quarter due to vandalism and oil theft. This week, we're expecting the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the LCC and Walter Smith Oil Company to come together for a conference on how to help Nigeria resolve its increasing level of theft of crude oil. And the allocations of, from the government to the three tiers of government, which is the federal states and local governments, will take place this week. Analysts expect that to ease liquidity in the system and help money market rate between open repo and overnight rate to come down to about a single digit. We finished on Friday around 14% between overnight lending rates and uh, open repo, which is OPR. And the IMF has uh, praised Gambia to the central bank for its accommodative uh, monetary policy outlook or regime for the year 2021. 
Okay, let's check in with us, uh, South Africa. The news coming through from the CEO of Signia, is, which is uh, a financial services uh, company, which also lists a couple of derivatives on the GSE, says there is no long-term value for investors in equities in South Africa, and that is why investors are lo- in South Africa are looking for value elsewhere across developed and emerging markets. Says South Africa government needs to hold on to a lot of economic reforms that will hold investments back and ho- get value and wealth creation for local investors in Africa's most advanced financial supermarket. In the meantime, Society General CEO says he sees an organic growth in Africa despite the uncertain climate of investments in financial markets on the African continent. And oil prices are down, well, roughly as it were, uh, to below the 120 level between the London Brent crude and the US West Texas intermediate. But oil prices at the retail and the pump stations still increasing around the world, fueling inflation, and we're all on the outlook for the OPEC Plus meeting on the 30th, that's on Thursday. Inflation in Zimbabwe is now heading back to our 200 level, 191.6% for the month of June. Data came out of the weekend. The currency, Zimbabwean dollar, is down so far, about 70% so far this year against the U.S. dollar. That's the latest from Southern African region. And let's finish off, as always, in North Africa, where Morocco's Casablanca Airport has has been awarded uh, one of the best uh, improved airports, the fifth asset, where globally speaking, for 2021. Then, of course, Qatar and uh, Egypt are looking forward to uh, resolve their diplomatic rows. So there's a meeting between President Sisi and the the leader of uh, Qatar, in which Qatar has promised to invest massively in Egypt's uh, energy sector as well as uh, agriculture. So this are some of the stories making the headlines across uh, Frontier Africa this uh, Monday, the 27th of June. I am Boston. Of I'll see you next time. Watch this show online on our YouTube at Frontier Africa Reports or go to our website with some of our latest uh, stories. We curate some of the best stories in finance, markets, economy, energy, climate, everything else in between businesses and earnings as well for you at www.frontierafricareports.com as well as our social media on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, as well as LinkedIn. I'll see you next time. Bye for now, everyone.